boys and girls last week while visiting New York, I had an experience that was probably close to the feeling of winning the lottery. I'm not kidding, I've been queuing for a long time, but 5.88 seconds? That solve made me officially the fastest person of my country. Yes, I'm a proud Belgian boy right now. And to show you just how insane this time is, my previous best time in competition was 7.5 seconds. Now, on a good day, I might get a high 6, a low 6 second if I was very lucky, but a 5? For that, something magical needed to happen. And well, this scramble was magical. And I believe it to be one of the easiest scrambles I've ever seen at a competition. But before to show you how I solved it, a lot of you were asking about the cube I used and some of you even guessed correctly, so congrats to you guys. And spoiler, the cube was a Tornado V3 prototype. As some of you may know, I had beaten all my records at home earlier with the cube and I'm actually just one video away right now of sharing what the exact setup is, but yeah, let's just say I love the Tornado V3. But let's actually do the insane scramble and tell you all about why it's the best scramble ever. Also, I'm scrambling with yellow on top so that we can do the white cross, but originally I did yellow cross. And oh boy, look how easy this cross is. Obviously, we have these two cross pieces positioned correctly. And notice how that if we would insert the orange cross piece, the orange blue pair actually gets preserved. Look at this. How crazy is that? That's just three moves. But even crazier is that if you do this, the orange green pair gets formed. So basically I inspected the pair that, get, that got formed, but also that if we insert the last cross piece, we have this case to the left. That if we insert the pair that we just preserved, we form a three mover. How crazy is that? But just look what happens when we do the three mover. We form another pair, which is the last pair. Not only is this extremely lucky, but it is so easy to track and to work with. Now, normally you would just insert the pair into the back, but honestly, I didn't notice the X cross that was formed. So I rotated and inserted the pair into the back with this algorithm, which formed a zoom case, which is arguably the best OLL case. And then an R perm got formed with no AUF, which is just awesome. Now, the solution was very easy, and I will even show you later in the video that I could have done it way faster but keep in mind this is a full step solve since I've done OLL and PLL. That's why I wouldn't necessarily call this the luckiest solve but mostly like the easiest solve because the pairs come on that's just insane. But then again we're in a competition setting so it's easy to mess stuff up so let's actually see how I do. I noticed the first two pairs during inspection and because the cross was just RDL moves. The beginning was just like super fluid. Like I inserted my first pair right away, the second pair. Now, now I rotate when I actually shouldn't have, but it was okay because I didn't notice the X cross. I just saved that by inserting the last pair while oriented the last layer edges. The soon was crazy fast. And then, you know, I noticed the R perm. It was kind of an awkward pre-AUF, pre but, but it was no AUF afterwards. So I didn't get a plus two. It was a five second solve. I mean, look at that face. Like, I couldn't believe that just happened. But it wasn't just me that was shocked because there were so many people watching, which makes this all probably like the most memorable moment of my life. They all knew it was national record, 5.888. Lucky number for a lucky solve. Now, I quickly want to test something out because as you know, I rotated during the solve when I shouldn't have. I mean, the first three pairs were kind of obvious. We just do it in the same way. But the last pair right here, what if I had just inserted into the back? I would have gotten this OLL with a Z perm, which I don't think is better than the cases that I got. But let's say we're doing the last pair and we do rotate, but do a sledge instead, which is very common. Then we also get a soon, an anti soon which leaves us with a V perm, which is not good. So I'm actually happy with the solution that I ended up doing. There's one more option for the real pros out there is that, you know, you sledge and then you do a ZBLL, but I don't know ZBLL, so I just checked and I hope that it wasn't an easy case. And honestly, I don't think this is an easy case. So let's just say I didn't miss out on anything. But now 5.88, really good time for me. But you know, I'm just gonna show that I could have done even better. So yes, I could have done it faster, but am I complaining? Nah, dog, because knowing me, knowing I have the plus two curse, this would have been a very likely outcome. And I'm so happy that didn't happen because I would have cried and I would have quit cubing. So this video exists because that didn't happen. And I'm very happy. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.